Welcome to the next tutorial in the SDT video tutorial series entitled Working with UAS Surveys. In this tutorial, we will learn the keys to building good surveys. Let's get started. SDT surveys are a lot like work orders. Think of them as to-do lists. To go and take readings on a certain machine or a group of machines or a particular area within your plant. We build surveys by choosing measurement points from the database tree. There's no limit to the number of surveys that you can build in UAS and any one measurement point can belong to more than one survey. There are several ways to construct a survey in UAS. First, you need to create a new survey. Let me show you two ways. One using the top menu and the other way using the shortcut menu. From the top menu, click on Tree Nodes and then Add to Survey. Slide your mouse over to SDT270 and then again to New Survey. Give your new survey a name, click Save, and you're done. You can do the exact same thing by right-clicking the top of the data tree. Watch. In either case, by building your survey this way, you effectively add all the measurements in the open data tree to the survey. This is fine if your tree represents the survey path you want to take, but it could result in very large and unmanageable surveys. Take a look at my factory data tree. It has 258 measurement points defined. I don't want my survey to be that big, so I've broken up my data tree by using the first node to define, to define five zones within the plant. Each of those zones has a more manageable number of points. So, logically, from this tree, I'll create five separate surveys, one for each zone. You can see now we have five work orders, each with a more realistic number of jobs. Another way to build a survey is to use the selection tool in the bottom pane. By using the filtering function in UAS, you can drill down into your data tree to create custom groups of measurements. When your list is ready, click on SDT270 Surveys button and choose Add to Existing to add measurements to an existing survey or Add to New to build a new survey. Let's create a survey based on specific search criteria. In our existing tree, we have 258 measurements, but those measurements are a mixture of static and dynamic ultrasound measurements, as well as temperature and RPM. From our tree, let's extract a list that shows only our fans in Zone 1. There. That narrows the list from 258 to 31. Now let's further refine our list by removing the dynamic measurements since we'll only collect data if our static data alarms. To the filter, we'll type semicolon for AND, then open bracket, capital S, there. Now our list is down to 23. Let's create a survey. Do you want to assign inspectors to a specific data tree? It's this easy. Since an operator can be logged into an SDT270 data collector, all readings taken by that operator are traceable. The final step is to synchronize your SDT270 data collector to your UAS data tree. Assuming you're ready to head out into the plant to collect data, of course. Synchronizing sends the open data tree all created surveys, all alarms, and all operators to the SDT270 collector. Now you're ready to collect data. From the main screen of your SDT270, press the enter button and scroll to planned survey. Press enter to bring up the list of surveys. Choose which survey you want to do and press enter. Once in survey mode, the SDT270 will guide you through your plan in the order which you build your survey. A separate video tutorial dedicated to collecting data will be found in the Learning Center at our website. Thank you for watching this SDT video tutorial, Working with UAS Surveys. You learn several ways to construct surveys and how to use the selection and filter tools to build ergonomic surveys from custom lists. 
be sure to visit the SDT Learning Center often as we'll continue to add more video tips to help you get the most from your SDT ultrasound solution.